I think I'm back on the wagon, folks. No, not the alcohol wagon. I'm still falling way off of that sucker. In moderation and on the weekends, usually. Uh, <clears throat> no, I've fallen off of the Astra um, blade wagon and fallen right back on the feather blade wagon. You know, it's like the old pair of shoes, your favorite uh, pair of jeans, your favorite pair of boots, your favorite whatever, whatever, it's your favorite easy chair. You know it, you love it, you count on it, it's there for you. That's what feather blades are for me. I know, they're just razor blades. They're not a comfy chair, but they kind of are. Anyway, I want to tell you about, I was almost out of feather blades. I had about, I think, two little tucks, three tucks left. And you know, the $37 a pop now on Amazon used to be a lot cheaper. It used to be like $14 for a hundred. And then people started reaching out to me saying, hey, I got these feather blades that I tried out. I didn't like them, do you want them? And then somebody else said, hey, can I send you some stuff for your birthday? Can I send you some feather blades? I was like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so anyway, let's start shaving. I'll show you what I've got. I'll tell, tell, tell you who sent, the, sent these to me and, and just the, I'm just overwhelmed with the generosity. So thank you. All right, I took a shower, did my hair, and I'm going to lather up, put some hot water on my face. Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. You guys, hot water. It is hot and humid outside. It is unpleasant. So I'm gonna use a little bit of cold, cold shaving soap and then some cold fusion, which I used the other day. Jose, was it Jose? Jose Paz down there in Laredo wanted a cold fusion. You're getting a double, baby. Here we go. We're going to get cold fusion for the aftershave. And then my friend Abe from uh, West Coast Shaving, who no longer works there, but I'm going to be using the West Coast Shaving Brush. Oh, look at it shine. The Jolly Rancher. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to lather up with... I'm going to lather up with this, sent to me by Abe. It's Arctique Embrace the Cold by Barrister and Man. I've never heard of this before, but obviously, caution, extremely cold, keep away from eyes and anything else that you would prefer not to freeze, you have been warned. So, thank you, Abe, and also thank you for... He sent me this, a hundred feather blades for my birthday. That's... You were too kind. This was the first set of hundred feather blades that I got. I got two more. Well, I got one more here and I got another one coming and I'll tell you about that as we shave. Anyway, what are we gonna shave with? We're gonna use that brush, use the Arctique, use the Cold Fusion. And my youngest son has been shaving in here before bedtime and you know, going through all the stuff and using, uh, you know, he, he lathers up and everything. I've taught him well, I've taught him well. And he keeps choosing the 1966 Gillette Super Speed Adjustable. So I'm gonna use that one. He had it adjusted down to a one, even though there's no blade in it. I'm gonna put it up back to a six because I think that might be the sweet spot for this one. And I'm gonna proudly put a feather blade into this sucker right here, 1966. Here's, whoa! Hey now, that was the last one in that tuck, see? I was getting close to the end. Now those Astro Blades are good, but the whole Russia thing, you know, being made in Russia, it's a little weird right now, a little iffy. So let's just hold on to those for a while, see what happens. Okay, feather blade coming out. You know the thing about feather blades, they have these little wax, like little areas that stick, you know, to the blade. Interesting, huh? The other ones don't do that. Some of them do, some of them don't. All right, here we go, fresh feather blade, 66 adjustable, four years older than me. On six, there we go. I need to put some more hot water on my face. So yes, thank you, Abraham, for sending me that stuff. And I can't wait to try this out. Arctique, let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, it's mentholated. It smells like pepperminty, mentholate, mentholated. It's kind of a fairly stiff, I mean, it, it gives if you smush in there, but it's fairly stiff. It's not like peanut butter consistency or anything. So let's lather this stuff up with the West Coast shaving brush that I've used countless times. Felt like there's too much water in there. Get it down here. I don't want to, I don't know why I'm being careful now. I normally just, you know, the stuff goes all over the dang place. All right. Ooh, oh yeah. It's starting to get cold. I can tell already. All right, folks. It's not doing a bunch of lather. It's not like billowing out into, into you know, pillows of lather, but let's see what it does on my face. Probably work it up better in a bowl. You know, some, some uh, uh, shaving soaps do work better when you lather in a bowl, but I can't be bothered. I can't. I don't mind, really. Speaking of George Harrison, friend of the channel, 
and another generous soul. I need to put some more water in here. There we go. Slick it up a little bit. Thin it out just a little bit. Ooh, this stuff is mentholated. You know what? I still haven't tried snake bite. I still haven't tried that stuff. One of these days. All right, there we go. Lather it up. I'll put the top on this. I like to clean up as I go, you see. <laughs> and also do that mise en place thing. Like in cooking, you prepare all your stuff, you get all your ingredients out, and you have them out for you. I like that too. So anyway, okay, so um, George Harrison, speaking of George Harrison, as we, as we start to shave, uh, got uh, an email from Gilby Deluxe. Gilby Deluxe, you know who you are. And he said, hey, I tried, uh, I just recently bought a bunch of feather blades. And I tried them and they just aren't for me. Can I send them to you? I was like, of course, of course. And so he sent me 100 feather blades. Look at this. I got 200 feather blades, guys. And then I got another one coming, which I'll tell you about in a minute. 200 feather blades. So thank you, Gilby, to, Gilby Deluxe. Thank you, Abe. All right, let's keep shaving. Enough about the feather blades. But uh, Gilby Deluxe is a huge George Harrison guy, and he sent me pictures of this Rosewood Telecaster, like George used in the Get Back sessions that you've probably seen on Disney+. Plus. I've always wanted one of those, but they're so rare, and they're so expensive. But uh, I got that Rocky guitar recently, the George Harrison painted one. I don't know if, did I show that? Go look at my other channel, my music channel, and you'll see it. It's the most recent uh, video I put up using that George Harrison Beautiful, psychedelic, painted, rocky guitar. So, anyway, thanks again, Gilby Deluxe, just for sending that to me. I'm just using your screen name. Like, if you guys send me, like, emails with your real name, I'll just keep using your screen name unless you say otherwise, you know. Don't want to dox anybody. <laughs> right, Sinatra Lennon? Oh, boy, I tell you what, this Arctique is very mentholated. And it smells good. You know, some of the ones... Um, like the cold fusion shaving soap is so insanely mentholated that it's almost like, well, it really is too much. <laughs> they even added menthol crystals into the mix, which is probably not a good idea because they don't dissolve. You just lather up and then there's like crystals stuck to your face. But I admire the fact that they went all the way. They just might've gone too far. Cold fusion, wet the face, good stuff. They make good stuff. But I think they went too far. But I like that. There should be some things out there where the, someone has just gone too far, you know? It's not for everyone. It's for the right people. The right people get it. Okay, let's talk about the third, the three other hundred, 200 here. Got another set coming of 100 feather blades because I got an email, once again, from someone that the name was just RG. And it was a very succinct, Short, concise email that said, Feather Blades for a 100 pack are on sale on ItalianBarber.com for $22 right now. Go check it out. I was like, what? ItalianBarber.com? I looked at it. They were on sale for $22 for a 100. So you can get one of these instead of 37 and you've been wanting some feathers or you, you know you love them and you need to get some more like me. ItalianBarber.com. Right now I checked today. They're, they're not 22 right now as of Monday, August 20, what is it, 9th, 29th. They're now $29, but still better than 37. All right, let's lather up for a second pass. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Still got some whiskers up here we need to take care of. But yeah, my son, I don't know why he he, he just uh, chose the, the 66. Maybe it was the closest one to him, but they're all out here. They're all laid out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm 12, so 12 razors are laid out right here. It's pretty to choose from, but he went for that one. It's got good taste, but not too expensive. So anyway, so I ordered off Italian Barber, got some $22 blades. So I'm going to, I'm going to have enough feather blades to last me a very long time. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, every now and then I'll probably throw in some different blades just for, you know, the heck of it. But I mean, are you really coming to this channel for blade reviews? <laughs> Or any kind of review. It's not really reviews. It's just like, what's my experience with this stuff, you know? It's good. I like it. You know what's nice about this Arctique? It doesn't make you cry, which is kind of cool, kind of fun. But really, it, it's, it, it hinders your shaving. Because you're just constantly like rubbing your eyes. There's just enough. 
This would be too much for most people, but I love it. I am a menth head. I love menthol, mentholated anything. I love mentholatum. I love Vicks VapoRub. I just coat myself with mentholatum every morning. I think it must be because I grew up in Houston where it's always warm and muggy. And I live here in Austin where it's always hot and muggy. Less muggy than Houston, but today, woof, it's like a wet blanket out there. And I just want to feel like I'm living in Vermont. You guys know this. You Vermonters know this. Is that, what you, is that Vermonter? Is that right? I think that's right. You guys know. You've told me about it. And I still, I still got to go up there. Montpelier, Vermont. I don't know why. I just love that name. It's become my inside joke with the wife. One of these days, you're going to see me sipping coffee in a big warm sweater and walking down the streets of Montpelier holding my coffee like this. I want you to search out an article by The Onion. Autumn Man. Search The Onion Autumn Man. It is one of the funniest articles. I just love it, especially this time of year as we're getting close to the idea of autumn. It won't be cold here until probably the end of October, maybe. Still, then, there's no guarantee. All right, there's the second pass. So we got a couple shout outs. I missed a birthday, August 24th. Sam Evans, happy belated birthday, buddy, and shout out to you. Happy birthday, August babies are the best. 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, whatever. First, sure, why not? But happy birthday to you, Sam Evans. Thanks for watching. So there's two passes right there with the Arctique and the synthetic West Coast shaving brush. Ooh, God, I just love that mentholated cold tingle. I just love it, love it. And this is, this seems like it's like right on the edge. It is very cold. Like I said, most people would maybe find it too much, but for me, it's like it's hitting a sweet spot. Thanks, Abe. You know your stuff. All right, let's go for the, uh, the final pass here and we'll wrap things up. All right. Woo. Yeah, I feel like I'm still sweating. <laughs> I took my long walk this morning. We had a ton of rain at the beginning of last week after a months long drought with zero rain. And uh, I had to have, we, we realized we got a leak in the back and we had a roofer come over and some of the shingles are warping and some of the, the wood underneath is rotting. So, oh boy, oh God, here we go. <sighs> The roof, roof is, uh, was it uh, like 14 years old? Is that about right for a roof to need to be like replaced? Let me know if you know, if y'all are an expert in roofing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crowdsource. I never thought to do that before. If there's any roofers in the audience, let me know. We had hail damage too. There's a little bit of hail damage. There's uh, some definitely some rot underneath. This is fascinating stuff. This is just, <laughs> this is what you tune in for folks. Roofing advice. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. I had a lovely birthday on Saturday. Took the whole family out to the LBJ Ranch and drove around in a convertible that I rented off of Turo, the Turo app, T-U-R-O. It's car rentals, but you rent them from individuals, and it's way cheaper. Check it out. I saw it on the Doug DeMiro channel. You ever watch him? Car reviews. Great, fascinating guy. Fantastic channel. Doug DeMiro car reviews. Anyway, rented a little 2014 BMW 435i convertible, hard top, and we took the whole family out there and it's just beautiful. It was a beautiful day. It was hot, not too hot. I really should rent that convertible when it gets cool, but hey, it's not around my birthday. And I share the same birthday as the former President Johnson. They have a living history farm out there that is self-sustaining and is exactly like a German farm in the uh, early 1900s. Fascinating. They slaughter their own pigs and cattle and chickens and they have eggs and they have, uh, you know, a whole garden. And there was this old timer there who taught my kids how to play dominoes. It was fantastic. Just great. Great day out at the LBJ Ranch. But then I almost always have a great day out there. It's just so peaceful. I love reconnecting with the hill country, the Texas hill country.
All right. I have one more shout out. Victor from Eastern Europe. He said, I don't normally see people from Eastern Europe getting shouted out. So Victor, and I, I purposefully didn't write your name down because I think it was like, oh, I'll never get that right. So Victor from Eastern Europe, shout out to you and shout out to all your brothers and sisters over there in Eastern Europe, all your brethren, all the Eastern Europeans, salute to you today. All right, what are we doing now? Oh yeah, so there we go. Let me uh, just wash off here a little bit. Make sure guys, and gals, who's ever shaving, get behind your ears. Don't leave little dry patches of shaving cream in your ears because it'll be embarrassing for everyone around you when they're like, what the heck has that guy got in his ear? And uh, you'll be mortified when you come out of that really important meeting. Realize, like this dry, you had a big old wad of uh, Arctic soap in the back of your head. Oh, what am I doing? Gotta feel the problem areas. Yep, always there. Always there. That's all right. That's all right. I'm just gonna do this. No big deal. Really lightly. Really lightly, please. If you ever feel any little patches of whiskers, just go over them real light. You know, just and your my face is still wet right now, so it's you know it's easily gliding over. And uh, there we go. Good enough. Good enough. It's a good uh, good razor if you can get yourself a decent vintage Gillette adjustable from the 60s. They're good. They're not too expensive. Not like the fat boys, you know. Mm. Ah, okay. Here we go with the cold fusion. This stuff is, <laughs> is too much. It's too much, but I love it. I'm going to put a little bit on my hands, just a little bit. You can actually see... See those little, looks like snow in there? Those are like little crystals of menthol. <whistles> That's right, just enough. But this stuff will make your eyes water. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, and it's a different kind of menthol. It's interesting. Two different kinds of menthol, but man, brr. Bear Stern Man and Wet the Face. Donald Younger owns this. Donald, shout out to you. We're making some good stuff. And I think that's it, folks, for today. Happy birthday again, belated to Sam Evans. Thanks again to Victor over there in Eastern Europe. RG, thanks for hooking me up for the ItalianBarber.com for those $22 feathers. He says they go on special all the time, so keep checking ItalianBarber.com. I'm not affiliated with them. I just, I was hipped to their jive. And, uh, and to, of course, to Gilby Deluxe, the George Harrison guy who makes guitars and amps and that's so cool and i said uh, he said oh i've got these i want to send them to you i said if you got any extra amps lying around you, you don't like you can send me one of those so only joking thanks everybody thanks for all the lovely birthday wishes i appreciate each and every one of you and i want you all to have a great week okay try something new that you haven't done yet this week try something that you've been putting off or get that thing done that you were supposed to do like a couple months ago go get it done and then when you do go oh so glad i did that all right have a great week. See you all soon. Bye.